hello! Um, I just thought I'd pop in here at the beginning of the video to say hello, uh, introduce myself a little bit. Um, I'm Beth and I don't think you've heard my voice before, um, at least not on this channel. I tend to stay behind the camera whenever is possible, uh, but I thought this was probably a good opportunity to come and say hello. Um, I designed these stickers for our red bubble, um, the Shrieking Wizard Co red bubble, the link should be currently on the screen. Um, so I thought it made more sense for it to be my own voice explaining my own madness in these. Um, uh, I don't actually have anything else to say, so um, let's just get into the video. Hey, so I um, I draw on Procreate, and Procreate has this feature where it um, records time lapse anyway. You don't have to ask it to; it just always does so. Um, so when we thought, oh, we could make a video out of the sticker designs I've made, I thought, great, I've already got the footage. Uh, and then I looked back at the time lapse recordings, and they were a disaster. I started this project back in April of last year, so it's almost been a whole year. <laughs> Um, and I did it really on and off. I wasn't really sure what I was doing with these when I started. Uh, I started out uh, sort of making them into pattern designs, as you'll see as they go through. I'm not going to show you the crappy canvases for every one of these. Um, uh, but I thought I'd leave this one in so you get a little bit of an insight as to how I got to the point I did. Or how I at least came up with the initial sort of ideas, because you can't really see that otherwise. Um, so when I started out, I was sort of doing them quite character specific and you can still definitely see the influence of the characters in the end designs, um, but I decided to sort of name them and keep them a little bit more general. So there isn't a design specifically for Nagar or Gimgar. I sort of made them as one. I sort of turned that design into the warrior design. Um, their aesthetics are pretty similar and oh, no, to be honest, I really struggled with that one. Um, so back to what's going on on screen. I started by picking out some colour palettes, sort of five colours for each character. Um, you know, paddies are autumn colours and things like that. And then I sort of started plopping out some shapes, really basic versions of um, lots of different things. I'm not sure if you can hear that in the background, but the lizard is scrambling around. By the time I got to Rook's one, I was kind of a bit more happy with the direction I was going in. So I started to sort of flesh out um, his a bit more, which you can see now. Um, at the time I was really into a sort of very graphic icon vector style work so I was doing a lot of sort of uniform line work um, pretty heavy and pretty simple um, sort of colors and shading and um, so this is where I started actually playing around with the pattern itself um, and I was trying to make a repeating pattern but not in the regular grid format there's uh, the pattern is said sort of uh, repeats itself on the diagonal uh, it's a little bit hard to explain but you would have seen them everywhere uh, so you start by you basically draw your original piece, lots of different bits, uh, and then you cut the cut it in half both ways and rearrange that. Um, I mean, if you're interested in it, I just Google it, it's very simple. Um, and then you fill in that gap in the middle. You then duplicate that shape and uh, you sort of stitch it all back together. Um, and then you go, you've got a, a big repeating pattern. Um, I wasn't ever really sure what I was going to do with these, and that's kind of why I ended up turning them into stickers. I really loved some of the, the vector art I had done on these, and I really liked the idea and the colour palettes. Um, but I wasn't really sure what to do with a repeating pattern. Um, I'm sure there is some cool stuff, but... And I may come back to these later if I have any ideas, or if any of you have any ideas. Um, but for now, I think the stickers worked really well, and I think that this kind of icon style graphics they translate pretty well to sticker format so i'm really happy with how they turned out the one problem i do have with procreate is it's got a um, particularly bad sort of scaling feature so if you scale something up or down it loses resolution instantly um so you can see actually throughout this i have to re-ink everything a lot of times every time something's moved it's twisted or turned um it loses that resolution which is particularly annoying when you're doing something so sort of crisp and clean. Um, it's one of the reasons why I had to re-ink these three times, I think. Uh, but we're now actually getting into the proper sticker part of this design. Um, basically everything that you're going to see from this point is the final versions. I sort of cut out the middleman and these final ones I actually drew up this week. So the project I started in April I have finally finished. Uh, it is the very end of February, the following year. Um, 
I definitely would have done these differently now if I were making them. Um, and I do start out, so I start out doing them very similarly to how I did the first time, very uniform line weights and things like that, um, very plain textures. But I do go back through at the end and add textures, I vary the line weight a little bit because it sort of fits a little bit better for the style that I work in now. Uh, but we're actually almost at the end of uh, Rook's one, so um, for the rest of this video I'm going to let the music play out. I apologise uh, in advance, I think I have been speaking at a thousand miles per hour. Hopefully I will get better at um, words. If you liked any of these designs, they're all currently available on the Streaking Wizard Red Bubble store. Uh, the link is currently on screen. Uh, but I hope you're all having a great day, and I'll uh, see you later.